Good morning, and welcome to Our Lady of Grace Parish. We have several announcements today. The regional Labor Day Mass will be held on Monday, September 1st at 9 a.m. at Holy Cross Parish in Youngwood. A reception will follow. Please note this will be the only Mass in the region that day. The parish office will also be closed this Monday as well. Our special collection today is for Catholic University and Catholic schools in our diocese. Thank you for your generosity. All of our hymns can be found in the green Lead Me, Guide Me hymnal. Please rise and join in singing the opening hymn, Here I Am, Lord. Please rise. and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. It is I, Lord. I have heard you calling in the night. I will go. I have borne my people's pain. I have wept for love of them. They turn away. I will break their hearts of stone, give them hearts for love alone. I will speak my word to them. Shall I send? Here I am, Lord. It is I, Lord. I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you and flame. I will tend the poor and lame. I will set a feast for them. My hand will save. Finest bread I will provide till their hearts be satisfied. I will give my life to them. Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. It is I, Lord. I have heard you calling in the night. I will go.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we present ourselves to our God this day. We do so with a spirit of humility and contrition as we now acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift. Put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day I am an object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak in his name no more. But then it becomes like a fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, 
thirsting for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, thirsting for you, my God. O God, you are my God, whom I see. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts. Like the earth parched, lifeless and without water, my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, thirsting for you, my God. Thus I have gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, thirsting for you, my God. Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon you. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied, and with exultant lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, thirsting for you, my God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you, your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, thirsting for you, my God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in the Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. The Word of God today should inspire us to take stock of how much goodness there is in the lives of us who come to worship our God this day. That each day of our lives as disciples of the Lord, we seek to infuse into this world good things, loving things, things that are inspired by our faith in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There is so much goodness in each of us and as a community of faith gathered as adopted sons and daughters of the Heavenly Father this day. Our Mass began with a prayer, a prayer that acknowledged that God was the source of the goodness in this world, a prayer that went on to say that may God continue to nurture goodness among us. And third, Last but not least, that God would protect the goodness that he has nurtured. So my brothers and sisters, that is a wonderful framework for unpacking the word of God that we hear proclaimed today. Jeremiah, a prophet of the Lord, sent to the city of Jerusalem to tell the inhabitants that they were forgetting their covenant with God. They were breaking the commandments. And Jeremiah reminding the inhabitants as a prophet to return to goodness. As we hear today, he felt as though he was duped by God because all of his friends had abandoned him. And actually, the elders of the community took him and placed him in a well, in a hole, and abandoned him. And he cries out to God, you have duped me, and I have allowed myself to be duped. But yet, he tries to explain that he will not speak the word of God any longer. But as the passage closes, we hear that he admits that he can't resist the urge 
to continue to be a prophet, to continue to speak challenging words of goodness, of justice, and of love. You and I, as disciples of the Lord, must do the same. Continue in our prayer to God to identify, identify ways that God is calling, urging, and inviting us to do good things. You and I have been there. We have done something nice for a neighbor. We've been overly generous to someone in our family. We feel unappreciated, and we say to ourselves, like Jeremiah, I am not going to do that anymore. I'm tired of being unappreciated. I'm tired of being taken advantage of. I'm just tired of being always the nice person. I've had it. But yet we come to that same moment that Jeremiah came to, that we just can't help ourselves because we are in love. We are in love with the Lord, a Lord that constantly calls us and gives us and nurtures within us and among us goodness. That is why our heart and our soul is thirsting for the Lord, because that's the way God our Creator made us. He made us to thirst and hunger for goodness. Let us never allow ourselves to be astray, to start doubting in the power and the blessing of goodness. Let us never stop serving and loving in the name of the Lord. For this is what Paul teaches us in that second reading. Make our lives, our bodies, a living sacrifice. Sacrifice, giving, loving, offering it to God. Because that is what we believe, that good always triumphs over evil. That is our belief in the cross of Jesus Christ, a cross that we remember each time we gather to celebrate Mass, and we are fed and nourished at the altar of Christ. So as this day, in your prayer, in your inmost conversation with God, first of all, thank the Lord for allowing you to have goodness in your life. Second of all, ask God to deepen and nurture more goodness, because the more we focus on the goodness, the more the cynical, the bad, the sinful fades away. And finally, ask the Lord to protect the good that he has among us because we can never leave our guard down, because we are just one decision, one judgment, one bad choice can lose it all. Think of the fragileness of the loving relationships that sustain your family, your community, this parish. May the Lord's blessing truly enrich our lives with all good things this day as we worship the God who showers upon us so many rich and choice blessings, that he will nurture more goodness among us and that we will do our part to protect the good that he has trusted to us, his disciples, his followers of his Son, Jesus Christ.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, aware that God is the source of every good gift and our responsibility to treasure and nurture those gifts of goodness. We bring our petitions before the Heavenly Father. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may continue to be a source of strength in the face of a culture that is so often contrary to the ways of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer that leaders of the world will seek to be servants of those they represent, especially the unborn, the unwanted, the elderly, and those with disabilities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those suffering from physical, emotional, or spiritual anguish may find comfort by uniting their sufferings with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all in this faith community will have the courage to present the ultimate love of Christ to others through our daily actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel a call to a desire for the priesthood or religious life, may they find the courage to say yes to what God asks of them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in the military who put themselves in harm's way to protect and defend the helpless and innocent, and for victims of violence and oppression, let us pray to the Lord. For all of our parishioners here at Our Lady of Grace Parish and our partner parish of St. Benedict, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Help us to experience the joy of being like your Son in every part of our daily lives. This we ask through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we present our gifts, please join in singing hymn number 420, I Want to Walk as a Child. No darkness at all 
the night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. To see the brightness of God. Son of righteousness, shine on my path and show me the way to the Father. In Him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. 
For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, and in joyful celebration we acclaim. are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that, we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, 
advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Lawrence, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus, the Son of the Heavenly Father, Revealed to us the blessings poured out upon us by the Holy Spirit and has invited us to pray to our Heavenly Father these words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper 
of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Shall glory in the Lord, for God has been so good to me. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Lord with me, 
Together let us all praise God's name. I called the Lord who answered me from all my troubles I was set free. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord, of the Lord. Worship the Lord, all you people. You'll want for nothing if you ask. Hey, and see that the Lord is good. In God we need put all our trust. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. the Lord at all times. Praise shall always be on my lips. My soul shall glory in the Lord. For God has been so good to me. God's name. I called the Lord who answered me. From all my troubles I was set free. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of Thine own way, Lord, have 
have thine own way. Thou art a potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me after thy will. While I am waiting, yield it and still. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Search me and try me, Master, today. Brighter than snow, Lord, wash me just now, as in thy presence humbly I bow. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Wounded and weary, help me, I pray. Power, all power, surely is thine. Touch me and heal me, Savior divine. Have thine own way, Lord, have thine own way. Hold o'er my being absolute sway. Feel with thy spirit till all shall see. Christ only always living in me. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just want to call your attention to the fact that we're still encouraging uh, parishioners to register and to sign up for the evangelization program of our parish, Christ Life in the fall, beginning on the last Tuesday of September and lasting for seven Tuesdays, uh, we will be discovering Christ together, discovering the good things that our Lord and Savior has in store for us as a parish family. More information is available in the gathering space. Also, you may register for the program by visiting our parish website, uh, www.ourladyofgracechurch.org. Uh, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to, to God. God. Please join in singing our closing hymn, number 636, Here I Am, Lord. But those that strive to mend the broken heart of wounded king. God has no feet, but those that strive to win another soul to enter in. Here am I, Lord, send me. Here am I. I'll heed your voice. Obey your will. Here am I, Lord, send me. Here am I. I will gladly do your bid. God has no eyes but those alert to see. Someone distressed, some soul in need. God has no voice 
unless we yield to be a vessel we to boldly sing. Here am I, Lord, send me, here am I. I'll heed your voice, obey your will. Here am I, Lord, send me, here am I. I will gladly do your bid. God call is now for us to build and keep the living church Christ's bride to be. So we must work the work and sow the seeds and trust God's promises to reap. 